What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the Taiwan server and yes, we got the new hero, the Wild Rhino. Before I take him into battle and show you guys some gameplay, I wanted to quickly go ahead and read his skill. That way everybody knows what he does. So he heals himself each second for a percentage of his base damage, which is pretty sweet. That's upon transformation. He also deals X damage to nearby enemy unit and has a X percent chance to scatter a certain amount of mana. So obviously if you get him to 10 of 10, it's going to be scattering more mana, which is crazy. So I think, I believe if I'm reading this right, it's an AOE scatter. The hero is also immune to scatter for a certain amount of seconds, which is pretty beast. All right, now let's go ahead and take him into battle and see what he looks like in action. What dungeon is this? Dungeon 4? Okay, yeah, let's go right here. Might as well take him into the hard dungeons. We have him level 100 already on this account. I do not know what to expect. This is my first time using him as well. All right, let's go ahead and just toss him in. Okay, so he turns into the rhino upon proc. Has crazy AoE. Look at this AoE damage. Oh my gosh, he is just ripping through walls. Holy smokes, his damage output seems pretty insane. I don't think he's going to be that great in Guild Wars considering he's going to 50% of base in like two procs. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say about this guy right here. I'm not exactly sure how powerful he's going to be at the higher levels. I guess we're going to have to wait and find out. But my goodness, that AoE damage definitely deals some serious damage. It is just roasting these walls in these lower level dungeons. Goodness gracious. It seems like he can proc. His proc cooldown time doesn't seem to be too bad either. It seems like right when he's done procking, he can go ahead and proc again, it seems. Let's go ahead and throw him down one more time. So he procs. He's got the AoE. I'm guessing that's a scatter AoE as well. Let's see if we can take any energy away from these heroes when he procs. He's pretty much just maybe this pally we can tell. Uh... Man, he just kills these heroes so fast, I can't really tell what he does. There's so many new things with this update. I'm definitely going to show you guys all the updates and what all comes along with it. There's just so much to go along with it, but this is the new hero for now. I don't think I'm going to bring him into HBM because you guys kind of get the point just from these simple raids. I mean, his AoE damage is ridiculous, plus the AoE is a scatter in itself, so seems like he's going to be a pretty beast. I don't know. I don't really know how effective he's actually going to be at the higher level of gameplay, but for sure lower level. I mean, he is just going to run through all these dungeons, especially at lower level. Goodness gracious. Now, let's bring him into battle one more time. I really want to see if he reduces the energy, although he is only 4 of 10 right now, so I don't see... Oh, yeah, he did. Look at that. Whenever he procked right there, he reduced that spirit mage energy by a tiny bit right there. Let's see if we can get it on this pally as well. Yep. See on the pally right there? Reduced his energy as well. That's pretty sweet. Not bad. So he does reduce the energy clearly. And his AoE proc damage is just out of this freaking world. I don't know if he makes it to where all heroes around... That's what I was kind of wondering. Does he make it to where all heroes around him are immune to scatter? But no, it doesn't look like he puts anything else around heroes. Because I dropped these other heroes down here and it doesn't look like they're getting like any type of aura or anything like that. Let me try one more time though, just to double check before I end the video. Yeah, so we'll use dungeon tries, thank you. Alright, let's throw down a pumpkin duke, and then let's throw him down like right after the PD and see. So yeah, he doesn't give the pumpkin duke any type of prevention from anything. He just straight deals out damage himself and reduces energy. But man, he looks like a tank. He's not even taking any damage. Look at all the heals he's getting. He just fully heals himself back to full non-stop. His regeneration must be pretty beast. Clearly it is. I mean, these are 116 level heroes that were fighting. He's level 100. Just running through pretty much all these guys with no issue. Huh. Pretty sweet. I'm looking forward to the new hero. I don't really know how much I'm going to be... I don't know if I'm going to chase the new hero, honestly. He doesn't look like he's like oh, so overpowered in some way that I need him like extremely bad. But... Still looks pretty cool, and I am glad that IGG is keeping up with Castle Clash and constantly updating this game. All right, guys, well, make sure y'all look forward to the new uh, new video I'm going to be posting here very soon on the update and what all you should expect from it. Plus, the new game mode uh, squad showdown is back, and we have just so many other things. All right, guys, well, I am out of here for now. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Peace out, fellas.